Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will be reviewing the Dyson blow dryer. So primarily, I got this blow dryer just because I saw the hype about it and everything. I would hear mixed reviews all the time, but I'm the type of person like I have to see for myself, like no matter what everyone else says. And for those of you who don't know, I do curly hair styling, so I needed a new blow dryer anyway, and I was like, I might as well try it out. So this is what the blow dryer looks like. This is without the attachment. Mine is white and the attachment is a magnet. So it just like clips on like that. They have the other attachments for like to straighten your hair and stuff like the, like these two to straighten hair. They pretty much look the same to me. I don't know much about this, so I'm not gonna talk about, about that. It also, it also comes with a little pad to put the Dyson on when you put it down so that it doesn't um, slip off or fall off the counter or anything, which this is actually extremely useful and I love that it comes with it. This is the blow dryer itself. It's really small. Um, it has these buttons, the on and off button, the cool button. This is for heat and then this is for the fan. The heat and the fan have three modes, but you do have the option of no heat whatsoever. The diffuser is kind of small, but actually I wouldn't really say it's much different from the Curly Co diffuser in size. Like the size is kind of the same. This might be a little smaller, but not a huge difference. So basically the Dyson is supposed to be faster. Um, it's supposed to use less heat and like have a heat protectant and built in it so you don't burn your hair. So I'm gonna start with the negative stuff first so primarily um, it does heat up extremely quick um, you have to be careful what I do is I always kind of keep my hand by where the air blows out because it does heat up really quick and you don't want to burn anyone's hair or your own hair I also never have to go past the lowest heat um, the lowest heat setting I never have to go past that because that's enough heat for me next it's much more powerful without the diffuser so when you have it just like this the air like goes crazy with the diffuser it's a little less powerful but it's still efficient like i wouldn't really say that's a big deal for me i just wanted to mention that um something else that might be a negative thing is like you can't attach your other diffusers to it because of this like and it's magnetic so but honestly, I don't have a problem with using this diffuser. Something else is it's not in everyone's price range. It does retail for $400. Um, is it worth $400? I'll get to that at the end. But it, like I said, it does retail for $400. So yeah, that's that. The good things about it. One, it's super light. It's super light, super easy to use. Um, in my other blow dryer, a back piece was missing. So a lot of the times hair would get caught in the back and on this one the hair never gets caught. It's really small so it's really not that hard to use. Um, with my other blow dryer when I was doing clients hair my back would hurt so bad because it was so large and like I said hair got caught in the back that I would have to like bend over and like it was just annoying. The air is not harsh so even though it's lighter air it's not harsh. With that being said there's way less frizz when I do hair now than using my other blow dryer because of the air and because the air is so gentle. Additionally, I can honestly say that the diffuser does cut down a lot, a lot, a lot of drying time for me. Probably up to like 30 minutes of drying time it cuts down for me. And I've been using it for the past like week. I've been using it on clients and on myself, so I do know how it cuts down time and I've used it enough to know that it actually does cut down time. So yeah, it works great, it, it cuts down time, it's super light and super easy to use. Should you get it? Honestly, if I didn't do curly hair, I would return it. I truly don't see any need for a $400 blow dryer for myself. I mean, I never straighten my hair. Um, I air dry for the most part. 
like I wouldn't just get a $400 blow dryer for myself just to diffuse for 10 minutes because it's not worth it for me. Um, if you're one to diffuse multiple times a week um, for more than an hour, then yeah, I would say get it. And if you do curly hair or if you do hair in general, then yeah, I would say get it too. But if you don't do any of that and if you just want a blow dryer to diffuse, I wouldn't say to get the Dyson because you're going to waste your money and it's not worth $400 just to use on yourself to diffuse for an hour a week. It's really not worth it. But like I said as well, if you do have clients, if you are a stylist, if you are interested in styling other people's hair, then I definitely recommend the Dyson to use on others and yourself too. Honestly, that's pretty much all I can say about it. Like that's all I could think of to share about it. If you if you guys have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to ask below. I will answer any questions or any concerns. But um but yeah. That's pretty much it. That's all I have to share for today. I hope that this video helped you guys decide if you want it or if you don't want it. If there's anything else you guys like to know, like I said, comment down below. But that's all I have for today. As always, thank you for watching. My son keeps cutting me off. What else? As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.